Check leakage on RSVQ piston. Before carrying out any work on the system or the lift control valve, the safety regulations and precautions must be observed. It is important to follow all the instructions and information in the associated documentation. Close the ball valve and remove the lever. Push the extension pipe onto the handle stub of the hand pump as far as it will go, then retract by approximately 3 cm. Turn the piston creep preventer clockwise through 90 degrees. Push the hand pump handle down until the pressure is completely relieved. Turn the slack rope safety device counterclockwise to the original position. For the I-500, close the ball valve and remove the lever. Remove the M3 screw from the solenoid plug. Screw it into the opening of the lever of the emergency lowering. Pull the M3 screw and simultaneously press the lever of the emergency lowering until the pressure is completely released. Screw the M3 screw to the starting position on the solenoid plug. Place a suitable oil drip tray below the valve. System has to be depressurized. Check pressure at gauge. Remove the iBox cable. Remove the Allen screw on the iBox. Hold the iBox in place with one hand and loosen the screws alternately and remove them. Watch out! The spring inside the body pushes the iBox outwards. Remove the iBox and extract the spring. Remove the RSVQ piston with needle nose pliers. Check the RSVQ piston for damage on the sealing edge. In case of damage, use a new RSVQ piston. If no damage is visible, install the RSVQ piston back in its original position. Place the eye box on the body to position the piston with anti-rotation device. If the Q-piston has been changed, the zero point must be reset. This setting can be found in a separate video instruction or the Q-piston change service instructions. Build up pressure with hand pump at the lift control valve to check it for leakage. Install the lever and slowly open the ball valve. To bleed the system, perform a downward travel or, with the ball valve closed, perform a return upward travel for 10 seconds. Perform a new leakage check after approximately 5 upward and downward travels.